Joining me now, Congressman Dave Bratt, Republican of Virginia. He sits on the House Budget and Small Business Committees, a member of the Freedom Caucus. Congressman, good to have you with us. Uh, give us a sense before we turn to uh, Congressman Conyers and Al Franken and others and the issue of slush funds in our Congress and Senate. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd like to get your sense of where uh, we are uh, in your judgment in the Senate uh, with tax reform. Yeah, well, it's looking good when you got Senator McCain coming on strong. We have a few differences we're going to wrinkle out as we go to conference. Uh, but the big thing is getting rid of the Obamacare uh, individual mandate. That frees up about $320 billion. Uh, and it, it's crazy business up here, right? The CBO score is, you know, horrendous on growth. We were with Art Laffer this morning and Steve Moore. Yeah. And uh, we expect, you know, just tax avoidance well, isn't, I isn't part of the CBO an uh, analysis at all, right? Everybody on Wall Street is is they get compensation based on avoiding taxes. I, so if we get the corporate rate down and the Congressman, you have just taken us so quickly and deeply into the weeds <laughs> that it, <laughs> yes. I, I'm going to see if we can extricate ourselves. <laughs> All right. The fact of the matter is, with over three hundred billion dollars uh, that result in savings yeah. uh, for the purpose of uh, the tax cuts, uh, it's still necessary for you to overcome the triggers. And we're right. told that the way that's going to happen is we're going to see the ha the uh, Senate uh, go about two points higher than uh, the House version to 22 percent for the corporate rate. Is that the way you're understanding? Yeah, I hope not. I hope that's not well, the case. Well, I know, but is that your understanding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not my understanding. My you, understanding, the triggers are related to GDP growth, mm -hmm. and we have to achieve about 2.5% well, GDP growth. Well, the triggers, growth, Senator, maybe I yeah. uh, should be going, maybe I should be informing you. Senator Cornyn has said the trigger's not going to work, therefore they've got to come up with more money. Let's move to, uh, to something else uh, real important, uh, and that is these calls for Conyers to resign. Uh, you think he should? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. The evidence is in the uh, witness after witness after witness are coming in. Uh, when Nancy Pelosi says uh, it's time, it's time. It was embarrassing uh, this week. Chuck Todd actually asked a couple of tough questions and you saw a ducking and weaving like uh, we've never seen before. Yeah. And so uh, we don't want to throw anybody under the bus, right? Throw uh, them under the bus? Are you kidding? No, the minority I'm not. leader just called for his resignation. It took that right. before the speaker could even muster the the energy right. or conviction. Yeah, I, I didn't finish the phrase. For. Yeah, for, Lou, I, I said you don't want to throw any one on the bus. But when the evidence is clear, as it is in this yeah. case, yeah. it's overwhelming. And so that's the deal. And oh. and on the, I just want to go back to the trigger piece. Uh, no one has to worry about I'm that. Not, I'm, it, we're just not going to go back to those. We're going to grow through the roof, and so they're irrelevant, right? It's going to uh, be great. Well, you know what? I think that's right. Uh, yeah. And, and if I didn't, I'd be I'd be uh, screaming about this. Uh, but the fact is, I think uh, I've got confidence in the conference. I've got confidence yeah. that your guys uh, will have the uh, principle and conviction to uh, put together incentives as well as penalties for corporate right. America if all of that repatriated capital. Uh, right. is not incentivized uh, uh, for investment in this country and creating jobs. It's, right. Uh, and one other question, Congressman, what about those slush funds? How quickly are you going to get rid of them? Oh, ASAP. Ron DeSantis, there's several bills. I'm on all of them. Uh, I think that's, uh, I ran three years ago against the swamp. This is the swamp. Uh, we have a spending bill coming up after tax. We're going to have to be equally committed to getting the spending part right. That's why we're not giving huge tax cuts of a, of a Reagan-esque uh, scale uh, to the folks back home. But this is a start, and so it's good news. And the only worrisome piece our Art Laffer brought up, we do not want to delay the corporate rates for a year. That's yeah. way more important yeah. than any other issue. In 80, 81, 82, yeah. Reagan I, delayed way, and phased them in, and it was a disaster. No, the real in issue here is, kaboom. Congressman, if I may interject, Get the damn thing done because yeah. you, that is the most important thing to be done here. Yep. Because you guys are as unified as I've seen you since the president uh, came to town. Uh, yep. The Congress and the Senate working together is something, it's breathtaking. We haven't seen that uh, since the Republicans took uh, control of both houses. So, uh, congratulations, keep it moving, and good to talk with you. Yeah, well, and I just Con want to congratulate the president as being a cheerleader for this pro-growth business. Well, he's been it, a hell of a lot more than a cheerleader, Congressman. Yeah. He's been driving it. 